Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alexis. If you are new here, welcome to my channel, sis. So I'm gonna be using some new products in today's video and I'm super excited about them. I used the new um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Caramel, along with the new Translucent Powder by Le Mercier in the shade Honey. So yeah, if you guys wanna see my thoughts and opinions on these products, make sure you guys go ahead and keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe down below. All right, you guys, so we're gonna jump straight into today's video. I'm so excited because I have a lot of new products that I want to try well maybe like I think it's like three or four new products that I want to try today and I'm so excited because I haven't really sat down and just like filmed a video like just did my makeup in a minute like I ain't gonna lie I've been feeling ugly lately so I decided to do my hair and purchase some new makeup so um, the hair definitely helped a lot I honestly think I'm gonna start wearing braids more but um, I hope my lighting's okay because I feel like it looks a little off so this isn't new, but I haven't used it in a minute. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer because it is like extremely sticky, extremely tacky, but it also like hydrates my skin. Um, I have really dry skin, so using a primer that is hydrating is key for me. I can't really use a lot of like matte products, um, especially today because the foundation we're gonna be using is a matte foundation. So I really just want my skin to be as hydrated as possible so yeah just apply that all over my skin and okay so for this foundation that I'm using this is the new Too Faced a Born This Way matte foundation I'm really nervous to try it because I have dry skin so using a matte foundation isn't really I don't know how I feel about that um but yeah this is what it looks like in the original um Born This Way foundation I'm in the shade caramel so I picked up the shade caramel as well in this one and I hope, I hope this is gonna work. So we're just gonna jump straight into it. I haven't bought a new foundation in a minute. So I just put three pumps on the back of my hand. It looks like, okay. It looks like it's gonna match, but it's extremely runny. Um, so I'm just gonna, ooh, yeah. I probably have put too much on my, wow. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just take this on the back of my hand and just dap it all over. I'm really excited to try this foundation because I haven't had a new foundation in quite, a while so trying a new foundation is like I'm really excited and I haven't done my makeup in a minute so this will be fun um, I'm gonna blend that out with this sponge this sponge is by Juno and Co one of my favorite sponges and let's just see how this goes I'm oh oh, oh my god I'm so excited okay let me calm down let me blend this out so far it doesn't seem like it's a matte foundation to me um I'm really not I'm not sure I don't know how to tell if it's Normally when you put a matte foundation on, I just feel like it instantly like dries out everything. But I'm not getting that with this foundation. Like I feel like it has a decent amount of coverage. I don't feel like it's full coverage because I still have some spots right here that I can see. Um, maybe if you use a brush, you might get a better coverage. But I'm not getting like matte full coverage vibes. I'm getting very much dewy. And I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know. Um, let me see. Let me just blend this out first. Maybe it like dries down matte, but I'm not getting matte at all. Like you guys see this shine? I'm not getting matte at all. I'm just gonna take, I have some more product left over. I'm just gonna take that like right here in my problem areas. Yeah, this foundation is definitely, it's weird because it's runny, but it's thick. I don't know how to explain it. Like the foundation is definitely runny, but it's also thick. Um, if you guys hear like a bunch of wind or noise in the background, just ignore that. I live in Japan and it's currently a typhoon happening right now. Um, so the wind is really, really bad at the moment. So yeah, just kind of bear with me on the sound. I'm so sorry about that. But I really wanted to film for you guys because I haven't filmed in quite a minute. And I'm just gonna take whatever's left over. So I used, I think three pumps, if I'm not mistaken. But this is definitely not giving me matte vibes. And it's so crazy because I wasn't even gonna buy this foundation because I'm like, why would I buy a foundation that's matte if I have dry skin? It's just gonna dry me out even more. Like, I don't think any foundation that I own is matte. So I was like a little confused, but I figured, you know what, what can it hurt? Let me just try it. And it's actually, this might be, I don't know, Too Faced, this might be a new foundation for me. Wow. Wow, I am definitely not getting matte. Like. Typically, okay, so for me, when I wear a matte foundation, my skin typically dries out. No matter how much I like hydrate and prime my skin or whatever, my skin just looks dry immediately when putting the foundation on. My skin feels tight. 
but this doesn't feel like that at all. Like it feels very, I'm looking at myself so I can kind of like explain it, but it feels full coverage, but hydrating. Like it doesn't feel like a matte foundation. It's definitely more full coverage than the original in my opinion, but I'm not getting like matte. Like I was expecting like no shine, no nothing, like pure matte foundation, but I'm not getting that. But I like it. Like, I like it. I feel like it's drying down though, for sure. I feel like it's definitely starting to like dry down into some sort of a matte. All right, this foundation is good to go. I love it. I was super scared to try it because it's matte, but I like it. It definitely dries down though, for sure. Like my eyelids are a little sticky, um, but so far so good. So you guys know for concealer, I have been loving the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Concealers. I have it in three different shades and I'm obsessed with it. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Golden, which is the darkest shade for me. And I'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting around my mouth and like right in the corners right here, my eyes. And I'm definitely starting to notice that this foundation is drying down. My skin is feeling a little top. Um, not in a bad way, it's just, you know, it's just a little tight. So that's something to note. I'm not mad at it. So far, so good. So I'm just applying this product just to color correct my skin. And I'm just gonna go in with that sponge and just color correct. It honestly feels so good to, uh, I feel like refresh, like to just sit down and just do my makeup. It feels good. Definitely feels good. I've been going through quite a bit of a rough patch this past like two weeks. Um, and I don't know, I feel like I'm like growing a little bit, not growing in the sense of like getting taller, but like maturing, growing. Um, I'm dealing with a lot of traumas in my life. So I'm trying to like deal with those, you know, deal with them so that they're not affecting my life anymore. Um, so I've just been really having a hard time the past week, so that's why I haven't, you guys hear that? That's crazy. But yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading lately, but I'm feeling much better. You know, you have your good days and your bad days, so I'm definitely feeling a little bit better. Um, so I decided to film, and now I'm gonna go in with Toffee, which is a little bit lighter, and this is gonna act as like somewhat of my highlight shade. So I'm really noticing that this foundation is definitely drying down. If you guys see me looking over here, it's because that's where my mirror is and I don't want to put my mirror like right here because I don't want it to like, I don't know. I just don't want it in the frame. So I just kind of set it off to the side. Um, so yeah. Adding my concealer. Um, but this foundation so far, I really, really like it. I liked it a little bit better a few seconds ago when it stayed like kind of like hydrating, but I understand that it is a, I feel like my lighting is like bad. I'm sorry guys, I'm not sure. I hope it's not bad, but um, it definitely dried down a lot. It is not, as you guys can see, a lot of the shine really isn't, isn't even there anymore. Um, I'm assuming because it's a matte foundation. So it goes on hydrating and then kind of like dries down and kind of like sets down a little bit. So, that's what I'm noticing. And then I'm also noticing that you really don't need to let like your concealer sit as long with this foundation because it's already a matte foundation. So I'm gonna just go in and just blend all of this in. Okay, and then before I go into my next concealer, I'm gonna open my next product, which is the Le Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. I'm so freaking excited about this powder. Um, I tried it once already a few minutes ago, but I needed to refilm this video, so I'm not even gonna act like it ain't already open, y'all. It's already open, and I freaking loved it. Um, but I'm layering my concealers right now, so this is the last layer, and I know y'all probably like, girl, you added on a lot of layers, but I'm telling you, adding layers, instead of just applying one like full coverage concealer, adding layers definitely helps and it definitely changes the way that your makeup comes out versus you just like putting on a thick layer of product. If you build your products up, use less product and build your products, it comes out so much better. So I'm just blending that in. And the one that I'm using right now is in the shade Hazelnut, which is the lightest shade for me. Blending all of this in. 
yeah adding that light shade definitely helps because i feel like my skin was starting to look um quite orange but adding that product definitely helps and i feel like i just added too much so let me just go over it so this um foundation definitely dries down your product a lot faster so i'm gonna go in and hurry up and set my face because i feel like it's a little dry yeah i ugh. Wow, I love, love, love this hour, um, this hourglass, this translucent powder. It's so freaking good. I didn't like it at first because it's so yellow. So I'm gonna let you guys see. I don't know if you guys can tell, if you guys can see this, but this product is extremely yellow. So I was looking at it more of like a banana powder, like a brightening banana powder, and that's not what I was going for. So I was kind of scared to try it. And then when I tried it for the first time, I realized that it actually was pretty good. Like. I feel like it doesn't make my my foundation or anything look darker. Um, a lot of times when you add, you know, like um, a yellow powder or something like that, I feel like it changes the color of your concealer and stuff. But this definitely didn't do that. And I really, really like it. It is, this one, the original translucent powder, definitely makes my skin look a little, like washed out a little bit. And this one, in my opinion, it might be a tad bit too yellow. So you can mix them, but you can tell the, you can tell the difference. So this is the original and this is the new one. So you can clearly see that the new one is more of a yellow and this one is just more of, you know, like a white. Um, but I really like it so far. This is just, it's really good. I thought it was gonna, like I said, be way too yellow on my skin, but it's really not. So I'm here for that, okay? I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. <gasps> Oh no, I told, uh, I was supposed to use this concealer. Oh man. I was supposed to use the new Makeup Forever um, Matte Velvet Skin Concealer, but I ended up using the other ones. It's fine, I'm gonna do another video, so I'm gonna, I can't use that one in the next video. Ah, uh, I'm bummed out about that, dang it. Cause that's the only other new product that I have. That sucks, okay. So I'm gonna go in with my Micro Smooth Powder by Sephora and just set the rest of my face in place. I typically try to stay away from under the eyes because I like that to kind of sort of be the brightest. So I stay away from under the eyes, but I use this everywhere else. Do you guys hear that wind? Oh my God, it's so crazy. I never thought I would ever experience a typhoon. And now I'm in another country by myself because my husband's deployed and I'm experiencing a typhoon and it's crazy. Like I have to fill my tub up with water just in case the water goes out and I need to... Girl, it's a lot, okay? Um, and now I'm going to bronze and warm up my skin, but I'm gonna use my um, True Complexion Contour Palette to contour my face, and I'm gonna go in with the middle shade, which is Sculpt right here. So I'm gonna use Sculpt. But this product, it picks up a lot of products, so just be very, very careful when you use this because you don't want it to pick up too much product. I over contour and bronze every single time I do it and I have to go back in and correct it. So I'm trying to like figure this ratio thing out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really loving my braids right now. Although I only had them for a day, not even a full day. I did my hair last night or yesterday. Um, I started yesterday morning and finished last night. So yeah, but I, I, I don't know. It's like, I really love braids. And when I get them, I'm like, oh my God, my braids are so cute. Like I'm gonna keep them forever, but then I get so bored. Like, I just want my wigs, you know? But being here in Japan, that's almost impossible. Like, it's impossible to wear a wig here. I mean, it's doable, but at the same time, it's like, what happens when you wanna go to the beach? Now you still gotta worry about doing your hair, and it's just, it's a little much. So I think I'm gonna just stick to braids, and I feel like if I redo my braids like every month, I would be okay with wearing braids, you know what I mean? I won't get so, um, like tired and bored of my hair. Cause I really don't like old braids, like old frizzy braids. It's not my thing. So when that happens, I'd be ready to take them out and put a wig on. But if I keep redoing it, then everything should be fine. It should be fine. I'm gonna set my makeup in place using my NYX Bear With Me um, spray along with my Huda Beauty, but I'm gonna put this one on first. I think I wanna add some color to my eyes, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Actually, I think I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
this brown color from the James Charles palette. And then I'm also going to take this color and put this all over my lid. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stamp it all over my eye first. And then just kind of blend out those edges. If you tilt your head back, you can pretty much get into your crease. So that's why I like to tilt my head back and just kind of go in circular motions. Yeah. And then do the same thing, just kind of pat that product on. You guys know I'm not really good with color. I mean, I am, but I don't really like it. And I know that I have to like step out of my comfort zone and do other things, but I really just like the pretty stuff. Like I don't really like the hardcore makeup. Like Nikki Tutorials, love her, but it's not my style of makeup, if that makes sense. Like I personally, I wouldn't do that on my channel all the time. I like to wear stuff that anybody can recreate, anybody can do, um, but that's just me. And now I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna take that color, is this a good color? Oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna take that color and apply this all over my eyelid. I like going in with my finger and applying products because I feel like sometimes your finger is better than any makeup tool that you can buy, any brush. Like sometimes it's good to just get in there with your finger. So when I don't wear nails, I love to just use my fingers, which is a lot of the times because I really don't really wear nails. I stopped liking long nails a minute ago. That's pretty. Wow. I'm actually gonna... I'm excited. Okay, so I'm actually going to take a red color. Let me show y'all. I'm going to take this red right here and run it under my lower lash line. I think that'll be cute, but I'm kind of scared. I don't know. I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. This is why I don't try color because I'm scared. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to like try to pack that product under my eye. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay. Wow, it looks so, on camera it looks so uh, red, but it's really not that red in person. Okay, so I have my lashes on. I'm just wearing some Ardo Wispies. I haven't found any like lashes that I like. So if you guys know of any cool lashes or some like good lashes, black owned, let me know down below. I'm gonna take some of my um, highlighter and I'm gonna put that on my nose. I haven't really been wearing nose highlight, but I figured that I wanted to wear some. And then I'm also gonna put some on my cheekbones. Oh my God, this wind is crazy. For lips, I'm gonna go in with my Patrick Ta Oshi Single, I believe this is. Yes, Oshi Single Lip Liner and just line my lips. I love this lip liner because it looks just like my actual lip color. On top of that, I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the uh, Lux Trance lipstick in the shade La Beja, or in the shade 400, and I'm gonna put that in the center. And then on top of that, I'm gonna take my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline, and just put that right on top. Okay, so I feel like the face is done. I feel like there isn't anything else to do. So I did wanna talk about the foundation for a second. So the foundation I feel, okay, so the foundation I learned it dries down over time. So when I applied this foundation, it applied exactly like the NARS foundation, but thicker. So it applied exactly like the NARS foundation, but it was a lot thicker. The coverage was a little bit more there, but it definitely reminded me of the NARS foundation but then it dries down to a matte. So like, you know, oh my God, this wind is driving me insane. Like, why is it so loud? Oh my God, okay, so the foundation is good. It's extremely, like it dries down to a matte and I learned that you can't let your concealer sit too much or too long like you typically would because this foundation is extremely matte. So I say just go ahead and just blend it out right after applying your concealer because this is, because this is matte, it kind of dries your concealer down faster, if that makes sense. So that's what I learned about this product. And then also for 
the um, translucent honey. I love it. I just can't tell if it's making my concealer darker. If it's making my concealer darker, then I don't like it for that reason. Um, but it's really good. I love the fact that it matches my skin tone. I love the fact that I now have a shade. A lot of you guys would assume that the... I just can't. Oh my God. A lot of you guys would assume that the translucent shade was my shade, and it is, but I just feel like it kind of just looked like a gray cast on my face, so maybe I can mix the two. But so far, I really, really love both of the products that I tried. I was going to try this one, but I forgot, so um, I'm definitely going to use it in my next video. I'll probably pair it with my NARS foundation because I don't want to use too much matte on my face. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe down below if you're not subscribed already and watch another video. There are two videos right here that you can choose from. Take your pics, sis, and don't forget to subscribe and watch a new one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, baby. Well, how do you like it? Yeah. Honestly, I can tell that you're frustrated. Been a minute since you dated.